Well, welcome back to Lunar Dragon Song, and this time we're in search of honey, honey. Well, obviously there's only one honey there, but I can't remember if I got a kill for item around here, or, um, they're in the cave or something, so. We'll just clear everything out, because I think there's a chest in here. I might have a better weapon. Oh, going to the spring didn't cure my poison. That's BS. Oh, finally a counterattack. Why wouldn't he attack the one that's almost dead? Counter. I know, don't happen that often, but it's annoying. I may have to stop and go do some Gag Express jobs this episode, actually. As much as I hate them. Because I have to buy, because it looks like I might need to buy some better equipment here so I actually can take these enemies on, uh, more equal footing, considering how many there are. Because most of the encounters here are going to be, um, five on two. And if I'm taking this much damage, it's going to be difficult, considering it costs, like, ten points to heal. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go make some money. Yeah, I don't spend too much time grinding in this game. Well, I did some level grinding. I didn't think to grind for cash. And I know I don't have enough money to actually buy Jack Squat right now. That's taken care of. I guess it's time to head over to the Gads Express. And take a job back to the other towns or something. Because the package deliveries, while being not as valuable, are um, easier. <sighs> Work hard for me, okay? Off you go, then. Well, I gotta get a job first. I don't even know if we can find chocolate right now. Or that. How about now? Yeah, if you enter in and out, it gets different jobs. So. Come on, I just want a package delivery job. Why is it all these um delivery jobs that require me to hunt down items? I Meaning I'd have to waste more time. I just want a simple delivery job here. Well, you don't have anything that like just take package to Human Town.
Here it is. Um, 330S, deliver this package to the designated Gaz Express, which would be Port Sereris. Yeah. We'll take that job. So that far as I'm going to have to take multiple jobs to get the kind of cash I need right now. And I mean multiple jobs. It's going to cost me about twelve fifty just to upgrade Lucia's weapon here. So I'm going to have to grind out a couple thousand. So we may not make much of any progress this episode. Besides finding out how much I hate doing these delivery jobs. They really shouldn't have tied getting money to this game into get it, doing these jobs as much as they did. Because they're boring. Who wants to have to stop and deliver packages? Or kill enemies to get items while not getting experience. I mean, those are your options here. And there's no fun. It's it's annoying not to stop and kill the enemies like that. Especially when you know you're not going to get like any real reward out of it. At least if they let you carry multiple copies of the cards, it might be more worth it, because... You'd probably be killing the certain enemies anyway, just because they give you stat boosts. Well, their card does, but since you only carry one copy of it, this very rare that you're going to want to stop and hunt down for items for any long length of time. And these delivery jobs will probably end up taking a long time, because I'll have to probably fight my way through enemies at some points. And we know how long fights take in this game forever. <sighs> Ugh. Even on auto battle, they take way too long. Mostly because Lucia can't hit for crap. Makes me find it funny that Agus calls Gene a cheater in this game, considering how hard he hits, considering he's the only part member you have that can hit for anything worthwhile. For a good chunk of the game. And at one point, he has to you have to run around with him by himself in an area infested with monsters. You know, a high level, you're still going to get hurt in that area. Well, since they're not directly in my way, let's try and get around them. Ah! Getting caught. Let's see. I hate how this game punishes you for running, even in this area. That's right, get out of my way. Search. I don't want jobs like that, though. Hunting on stuff for packages is a pain. Some of this stuff requires you to have access to things that you don't even get to later on in the game. Just want a simple package delivery job here. Yeah, 
I can give you one I can do. Yeah, this is going to be a bit of a nuisance, too. Trying to find the right job. You think just a package delivery job that's already pre-made would be, like, something that's in here quite a bit more often. If only because trying to do other jobs is sort of BS. Boring enough to be running around just delivering stuff. Wow, I gotta go across the bridge first. very least I can get enough money to try and upgrade my armor and stuff. This just wasn't well thought out. to find here. Are you kidding me? Finding Ice Marvel's Tails is a pain in the butt, much less 10 of them. And you can't even get experience while you're getting those items. I don't even know if those are even in the woods. Like I said, this game is like a master at, at just making you do some of the most pointless grinding possible. I've never seen a game where you, you basically try to avoid doing item hunting jobs cause, just because the items take so long to find in some cases. I mean, you're not guaranteed to get every possible item from an enemy you kill. So certain things like the mongrel's tail can be extremely difficult to find, especially if you're looking for them. Then they don't like almost never turn up, so you might be having to kill 40, 50, 60, 70 some groups of enemies just to find them. Because ice mongrels aren't necessarily in every group you find either. And it's not like you really have enough MP to do, and there's like no steal skills, so you can't like just steal the items off the enemy. Or an attack that if you kill them, it'll break them down to components or something. <sighs> yeah, I probably haven't even finished the money grinding we're going to be doing here this episode. I know some of that stuff can be found in Thieves' Wood, I just don't care. <sighs> can give me a job I'm willing to take. <sighs> okay... Run here and heal up. There's a card you can get that can allow you to basically run for no cause because it heals you, but at the same rate you'll lose HP from running. But buying that stuff is hunting down the cards necessary to do that is just not on my priority list. I might hunt down some of the cards before the um Coliseum tournament fights. Get out of my way. Uh, I guess we got no choice here. I 
wish I'd counter more often too here. Oh yeah, I forgot there would have been one hit halfway here. Oh, look at this. You, we little things sure are going to get most out of my stuff. Oh, yay. Boost it that much? Jeez. Definitely gonna need one of those. A lot of grinding here. So I'm going to have to raise 48. So I'm going to have to raise a lot of money. This will probably be the last run I'll record tonight. Yeah, I know it's grindy busy work, but I guess it shows how annoying the grindy busy work in this game is. Especially when it comes to money. Like, I don't know who sat down and thought it was a good idea. But it wasn't. At all. What difference does it make? I don't have like any attack spells. And the attack spells in this game hit like all targets. The only spells that don't are healing spells. Except for the one like cure all spell they got.
Yeah, I'm gonna have several nights of cash and item grinding to look forward to for the next episode. I'm going to bite. Oh, over here first, not B. Or whatever key it is. Um Parent Village. Well, like I said, I'll finish this one. Wish I'd gone to the other place, but whatever. Further up. <sighs> I should duck and weave around some enemies there. Take that. All those things can't even be found in here. Same with this stuff. Well, I'll be cutting off here. So yeah, I'm going to be spending a bunch of time getting items and stuff this next week. Because I've been putting off working on this game for grinding in other games. I didn't realize how strapped for cash I was. Oops. I thought about grinding for some levels. I didn't think I was going to have to grind out... <laughs> like six, seven thousand grand in money to update my equipment because it gets outdated very fast in this game. Every time you move to a new area, you gotta get new equipment, which means you gotta backtrack on these delivery jobs, which blows. <sighs> well, maybe we'll make some actual progress next week. <laughs>